The ATX uh, CLP700 would easily be the favorite leg machine amongst, amongst us here. In my opinion, the movement is more comfortable. Your body is approximately angled at 30 degrees versus 45 degrees on a, a leg press machine. It also feels more natural in that you're in the upright position instead of lying back in a seated position. I'm not the only person that shares this view. Lee Priest has had many years experience training on these machines and he has shared similar thoughts. Probably 2002 when I was getting ready for the Olympia and uh, San Francisco that I won. Yeah, it would have been beginning of the year 2002 for San Francisco in the, in the shed in California. Yeah. And then you had one um, in your, your last home gym. Yeah. What's your thoughts on the leg sled compared to a leg press? We get we often uh, get asked that. I like it. I just find that I don't know. Just you know, I'm always doing the same movement, but this way you're coming down rather than being inverted the other way for a leg press. I just find sometimes with a leg press when you go heavy and you like that and it comes down, you feel like you're being squashed a bit. And yeah. Like, sort of thing. But this one I just find this new version of the compact leg press is the result of years of development. But the quality and features of the new ATX machine leave it for dead. The issue with the early Powertech machines was mainly centered around the rollers. The very first version that I imported into Australia, they had rubber coated rollers and underneath was steel. Eventually the rubber would wear off and you'd be running steel on steel. From there, Powertech moved onto a thin nylon roller. These were an improvement, but eventually the outer edges would split or, or warp after prolonged heavy use. But the big step forward came in around 2008. Powertech started using a thicker roller that solved these issues. Now from there, ATX previously used to distribute Powertech in Europe. They had a falling out and ATX made the Me Megatech range, which filled the gaps that Powertech left. Now the Megatech CLP350 was their version of the leg sled and it introduced thicker guide rails and even further revised rollers. However, the rollers on this machine are a completely new design and made from a much more durable material. They are the same that feature on the BPR 790. It is this use of new technology and materials that give ATX the, the edge. They just keep embracing these new manufacturing techniques. The rollers now feature both roller and needle bearings. They rotate on a bush sleeve versus just a bolt, which was pretty basic. These small and incremental improvements keep stacking up and the movement on this is the smooth, smoothest movement ever. The other criticism, criticism that people had with these machines was that you could not load enough weight. This has been addressed by the, by the latest weight horn design. You no longer need the nylon sleeves. The machine now comes standard with these massive chromed Olympic sleeves. They're also angled, so now you no longer need to use collars to keep the weights in place. There are other aspects that I will discuss later, but my point is that this machine um, has over 20 years of real world development and it's this continuous improvement that gives us this machine today. The ATX CLP700 has so many improvements over the, these earlier models. The most obvious being the, the new backrest design. Older models featured an, an adjustable pad. Personally, I'd rarely use the adjustable pad, the, the adjustment of the backrest pad. Instead, you'd always adjust your angle or your positioning using the foot plate. By getting, this, getting rid of this feature, you get a more solid machine. The dual pads are slightly angled, which locks you into place when you're pushing heavier weights. The weight carriage has also received a major makeover. Aside from the rollers, the housing are much more solid. They're made out of steel tube and just have a much cleaner look. The start stock 
mechanism is spring-loaded. So you simply lift off and the mechanism disengages. When you finish your set, you lock back into position. The locking mechanism is made from a much thicker steel plate than what was used previously, and it is chrome-plated versus painted, which was how it was on the earlier models. On the sides, you'll also see the chrome band pegs. So even if the oversized weight horns are not enough, you can simply throw on some resistance bands if you want to increase the load. Moving down to the foot plate, it is massive. So you can have a really wide stance. You can adjust the angle at the front with the newly redesigned ATX um, adjustment knob. This is just another little example of the development of these machines. The yellow T-pins on the old Powertech machines did the job. If you treated them properly, they'd, they'd last, but they could come loose or even crack if you over tightened them. These new ATX knobs are as good as you'll find on um, high-end commercial machines. So it just adds to the longevity. Now the cutaway section on the foot plate, that's where you uh, put your toes and do car phrases. And that's just the, the, the two exercises that you can do on this machine. In my opinion, the ATX compact leg press is great for nearly everyone. Because you're in a 30 degree angle versus 45 degrees, yes, you can push more weight than a leg press. So the guy that boasts about a 4,000 kilo leg press will probably scoff at these machines. However, if you're a disciple of Lee Priest, you'll understand that there is more to weight training than just grunting up the weight with out focus. You don't need to go super heavy on it, even though we can. We reload the thing up and then we put a bar behind it and more weight, but I don't recommend everyone do that, but you get a good fair amount on, you'll get these are a 55 pound, they get like four or five on each side, so pretty good, just concentrate more on reps and movements. If you train with the proper technique and focus on isolating the muscle, in this case the quads, this machine is great for even the most serious trainers. For these people who say they haven't got enough weight, I challenge them anytime to come train legs with me, I guarantee. If we don't go over three plates here, I could keep one to two plates on there and do them properly with negatives. By the time they've done the extensions, I'd be almost ready to leave and puke before we even get to a leg sled exercise. So the ones who say they haven't got enough weight just ain't doing it properly. Anyone can bounce weights and do this, whatever, but to do it properly and tense them and squeeze them, and then throw in a little extra little fun things I do, we'll see if there's enough weight or not. So. Doing high rep squats, even on a leverage machine, and your back will eventually seize up as you get through the rep range. On a leg press, you'll feel like your thighs are restricting your breathing. However, on the sled, you're upright and your back is supported, so you can go for longer, in my opinion. So it is great for high hypertrophy, but if you wanna do low rep and max weight, I wouldn't recommend this machine for you. Now with legs you can do that, legs can just take higher reps because you're on them all the time. They can, as your legs can be stimulated by low weight, six to eight reps, but then after a while, like I said, the pounding of your back and your knees can get a while. And even when I trained with Tom, I found doing the high reps stimulated just as much as my legs through doing a lot of high reps. So I just find doing the high reps sometimes is a good change and you can challenge yourself doing things, you know, after 30 years of training, you always got to mix it up a bit. And, but for everyone else, and in my opinion, this is the best all round leg machine. By this, I mean, if you need a leg extension, a leg extension will be best. But if you're looking for a machine that will train all your legs, for example, a leg press, hack squat, belt squat, leverage squat, the compact leg press would be probably what we'd recommend for nearly uh, most people in this case. Now, there's several reasons why we recommend this machine over the others. Now, for starters, it's more compact. Uh, it is only 185 centimetres long versus 210 centimetres compared to the ATX BPR 650-45 degree leg press machine. It might not sound like much of a space saving, but even in our gym here, it makes a fair difference. 
as mentioned previously, I actually prefer this leg press exercise over the traditional leg press. So I'm not really sacrificing anything for choosing this in terms of space. Now for rehab, these leg sleds are great if you're recovering from an injury. Uh, my physio actually has the old Powertech leg sled, the same as mine. So when I had a few knee issues, I did a lot of rehab work on the compact leg presses. You could do the same work on a leg press, but trust me, when you have a buggered knee, uh, doing the rehab exercises in that upright position is much easier than getting yourself in and out of a leg press in the seated position. These machines are also great for beginners. If you or someone you're gonna train with is uh, just starting out, um, in my opinion, this is one of the best leg machines for, for, for noobs. Being upright, it, it, it's just a little bit more intuitive for a beginner, plus uh, on a 45 degree leg press, they're great too for beginners, but having the carriage come down can be a little bit dawning. Um, plus some people have problems with the different start-stop mechanisms on leg press, whereas this is just so much easier to, to just jump on. Plus the relaxed angle makes it much easier for someone with less mobility to, to go a little bit deeper. In my opinion, this is even better machine for, for veterans. In my younger days, I may have opted for a leverage squat machine as an alternative to barbell squats. Leverage squats are excellent for loading up the, the quads while taking the load off your knees and back. However, you still have the weight on your shoulders and you are using your back. The compact leg sled significantly reduces the load off the back. And given my knee issues, I can tell you that this machine is much easier on my knees. When you get to, to my age, I believe training is all about preservation. Um, if you're in the same position, then I reckon this is the leg machine for you. I still train consistently and with intensity, but to keep doing this long term, you have to be smart. The harder you train, the longer it takes to recover. By using the compact leg press and taking the load off my knees and back, I can really focus just on working my quads. If I do do heavy squatting, my body just feels sore for days, which is okay if you want to wait to recover. But I really enjoy training and especially I, I do it to clear my head. So I'd rather do this type of exercise these days and train a bit more frequently. However, if you are a heavy squatter, this machine is a great complementary exercise. If you added some lighter sets on the compact leg press after some squats, you could really finish off the quads, or it is a great warm-up exercise for a, um, to do before you do your heavy barbell squats. Now, there are a lot of machines out there that look similar to the ATX machine, but trust me, they are not the same. The factories that are producing these knockoffs simply have not gone through the same development work. Anything under $1,000 is just junk. It'll either break down or you just won't enjoy using it. It won't have the correct range of motion or it'll just feel jerky. At the moment, we are selling this machine for just under $1,900. Now I know for some people, an extra $900 is a lot of money, which is even more the reason why you shouldn't spend $1,000 on one of these junk machines. You're simply throwing your money away doing lunges will be better and cheaper for you. My Powertech machine would be close to 15 years old. That was a great machine. This ATX CLP 700 is far superior to that machine in so many ways. Although this is not cheap for a leg sled, you are getting a battle tested machine that is a lot cheaper than compared to a 45 degree leg press. So given the space, the quality of the movement, the build quality, the longevity, this machine is highly recommended.